It's been almost a year since Cahokia Heights became a city, but as the city settles into its new status, one problem persists. It's a lack of police officers and it's getting worse tonight. Only News 4 is, continues probing this problem. Our Dion Broxton is covering the town's struggle to retain officers. Dion, another has turned into his, his badge. Sam, that former officer says it's about one thing, safety. He wants residents to be safe, he wants cops to be safe, and the leaders here have the power to entice more officers to come here. News 4 introduced you to Roger Jamolis back in 2019. He was doing what he loves, helping people in Cahokia. He helped me out. Fast forward to 2022, he's no longer a police officer. It's sad, it's sad to see because I've, I was here for almost nine years and uh, made a lot of good friendships, a lot of good relationships with the community. He, like many others, left the department after Cahokia merged with two other cities, becoming Cahokia Heights in 2021. I tried giving it a couple months to see what was going to happen, but then you just kind of seen the writing on the wall. Under the merger, starting hourly wages dropped from around 35 an hour to 25. More than half of the department left. When you're trying to provide for your family and then they cut your pay anywhere between 30 and 40 percent for some officers you know it's it's tough to to make it another former officer provided news for with this copy of his resignation letter and it troy derosit writes quote drastically cutting salaries and benefits has caused over 10 police officers to leave the department the extremely low manpower is putting lives in unnecessary peril each and every day this will continue to worsen as officers continue to leave under this mass exodus caused by our leaders one sticking point in all of this, a police contract. Following the merger, Cahokia Heights never negotiated a new deal with officers. Are you surprised almost a year later that a contract still isn't done yet? I'm <laughs> very surprised. News 4 has constantly reached out to the mayor's office about this situation with the police contract. We've sent emails, we've made phone calls, we even show up in person and he still hasn't responded. According to the union representing Cahokia Heights officers, the city and Illinois FOP Labor Council discussed a police contract at least twice since November. The union says the city did not respond until March. I think some people started figuring it out that if it didn't get done in the first couple months, you know, it probably wasn't going to get done for a while. News 4 requested the proposed contract by the city, but the city denied our request citing Illinois law that allows municipalities not to disclose records relating to collective negotiating matters between public bodies and their employees. As for Jamolis, he's now helping people in the housing market find practical mortgages. It's just a different way of taking care of people. So I just had to change my mindset to that, you know, taking care of people in that aspect as opposed to on the street. We don't know how many cops the force has right now. And the last time I talked to the mayor back in January, he said about 16. We'll continue to follow this story. Live in Cahokia Heights, Dion Brox in News 4. All right.